Soil compaction occurs when particles in the soil press together and pore space is reduced. Compaction occurs primarily from wheel traffic and equipment use, like tillage and plow force. You can also have soil compaction if you have excessive pounding rainfall, subsidence from groundwater extraction, and the case of excessive sodium, where the sodium helps deflocculate your soil, causing a loss of soil structure. The bottom line is that compaction can severely limit your yield and quality goals. I mentioned the equipment use earlier. I put in two graphs just to illustrate my point. This is the front wheel load and the rear wheel load for the combine and tractor respectively since the 1940s. As you can see from the combine, the weight of the front wheel load has gone up by almost five times in the time span shown here on the graph. If you look at the tractor on the solid red line, the rear wheel load has gone up about two times, but as soon as you put a plow on the tractor, now you're out in the field with a plow. Your effective rear wheel load goes up almost three times. So across the board, whether you're doing spring tillage or fall work, or you're out harvesting on your combine, there's a lot more weight going on your field than at any other point in history. What happens when you compact the soil? Just think of the soil and you're pressing it together, reducing pore space. And that's pore space that contains both gases and water. So what happens when this occurs? Well, when you compact soils, you limit your space available for root growth. You make it too hard for those roots to grow and proliferate through the soil. You also reduce your oxygen availability, so your roots will suffocate. On a water standpoint, when you have compacted soils, water has a hard time getting into the soil. And since you don't have any pore space, your soils cannot store water very well. So you can't bring it in and you can't keep it there. So lots of different functions in the soil are impacted by compaction. There are a couple of ways you can help immediately fix soil compaction. One is limiting wheel traffic if you can. And then the more overlooked step is improving the soil health and quality piece of your field. Remember, soil biology drives soil structure. They're related. Things that live in the soil help keep it open and help that soil stay uncompacted. So here's a picture that describes this. Here on the right side of the screen is really nicely structured soil. You can see lots of great little granules and roots and fungi. If you look at a close-up of this picture, you can see really the biology at play in driving that structure. When you have good bacteria and fungi and root populations, they all secrete substances and help tie soil particles together, forming aggregates. When you have good aggregates, you get good structure and good soil pore space. So this is a zoomed in view of what good structure looks like. Here's the sort of macro level view of what you're looking for. At Helie Agriculture, we have a product called Phycoterra, and instead of the usual focus on the plant nutrients, what our product does is help activate and optimize the soil microbiome, which can help restore excellent structure and water holding capacity, and also improve drainage. If you do have compacted soils, you really need to optimize those factors that help keep soils open. Phycoterra is a revolutionary technology source from microalgae that drives yield and quality by activating the soil microbes. You can help optimize those microbes, bacteria and fungi, and help put them to work to reopening your soil. Here's an example of what our product does. We took some farm soil and we inoculated a standard microbial plate and try to grow those microbes up. You see on this control, we have one colony come in here on the far left side of the plate and some rather unimpressive performances from the rest of the colonies. Each of these little scratch marks has an inoculation from a farm soil bacteria community. We made one change. We added Phycoterra, and that's this slide on the right side. So we added that microbial food. If you look at a diversity standpoint, that's the different colors and shapes of the bacteria population. So one thing to notice on this is this appearance of this egg yolk looking substance in the top center. That is a polysaccharide. That is a glue that helps bind your soil particles together. So when you get a really optimal bacteria community in the soil, you can get these glues that are starting to be secreted, which can help stitch your soil back together. So there's one way that microbes help promote soil structure. Another way is from the fungi. You boost your microbes and you can optimize those populations with the application of Phycoterra or Phycoterra Organic. You can get them going and form those basic building blocks of soil structure as I showed earlier on those test tubes. 
and then organic residues help cushion the soil and help it resist compaction. So just remember that this compaction issue, it's not just a physical thing. There's also a significant biological component as well. Phycoterra can help you optimize these microbial populations and help restore that soil quality and that soil structure that you're looking for long term. For more information, visit our website at phycoterra.com.